Hi, my magical creatures, and welcome back to my channel. So uh, today's video is, I thought I was gonna get a, another breast augmentation story time video. I thought I was gonna have to go back into surgery and replace my implant and get a new one. But um, before we begin, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, a like, and don't forget to subscribe. It's a free way to help your girl out. So let's get started. Okay, so, Oh my God, you guys, like I really thought I messed up my left breast implant. Like I really thought like I was gonna have to um, get it replaced, but thank God I did not have to do that. Um, but what was I gonna say? So basically let me tell y'all what happened. So that way y'all don't make the same mistake that I did for um y'all see girls out there or even cis girls that are getting breast augmentation um don't do what i just did because i really thought i had messed it up and i thought i was gonna have to go back into surgery and stuff this week but thank god i didn't have to do that um okay so basically um what happened was so i was at work y'all i was at work and i had this coworker, and so i have a client that keeps like throwing things behind the washing machine okay so um i'm just you know walking up and down the hallway and one of the other clients you know that lives there he was like um what was he doing he was um going back there and he was complaining saying there's a bunch of stuff back there like clothes um diapers and like un like new diapers like not used uh, there was like little Mardi Gras beads back there. There was like all types of stuff back there. And he was all like, it's going to catch on fire if you don't do something about it. Like one thing about him, he's like super dramatic. And I'm like, okay, like move, like, let me go get it. So I'm like sitting on top of the washing machine, you guys. And I'm literally like, you know, reaching down there. And I, you know, I got long arms and stuff, but that stuff was like, way down there and so i'm like reaching down there to grab the stuff and my boob is just like pressing against the washing machine like the edge of the washing machine and i'm literally like going as far as i can to get everything up and one of my coworkers comes and she's like girl you need to use like a broom or something like you should not be reaching down there like that and i was all like girl bye i know what i'm doing like <laughs> quit telling me how to do my job so basically I was like reaching, reaching, reaching. Eventually, like after probably like a few minutes, five minutes, like my left boob started to hurt like really, really bad. And so I was just like, oh my God, like what is going on? So then I just tell her, I was like, yeah, you're right. Let me just get like one of like the little cooking utensils with like the little like claw thing or whatever. And then, so I went and like started like getting everything up from back there. So next thing I know, um, I want to say like a few minutes later, after we got everything up, like I'm sitting down, my left boob is starting to hurt like really, really bad. You guys, like it just hurts like so bad. And I'm literally like going to the bathroom, like pulling it down, just looking, making sure that I like damage it, that I, is it busted? Like, I, I don't know. So basically I'm looking in the mirror. I'm just like freaking out. Um, I'm looking and one, like, it looks like it's kind of like shifting a little bit. Like the nipple part is like shifting while this one is still like intact. And so y'all, I start to freaking cry in the bathroom, y'all. Like I started crying. I was just like freaking out. I was like, I was in so much pain. And on top of that, it looked like they were like, the, the nipples looked unproportioned or whatever. And I was like, oh no, no, no. And so I literally go back out there. And so I'm telling my coworker, we're gonna call her Sasha. I'm like, Sasha, Sasha. And she saw, uh, Sasha was like, what, what, girl, what? And I was like, girl, like, you were right. Like, I think my boob is like, it's hurting so bad. And she was like, see, I told you to like, you need to get something that like not lean against it and like really reach down there like that, like told you. And I was like, you did tell me. And so I was telling her, I was like, Sasha, I said, my boobs are fake. And I feel like I damaged my breast implant. Can you like look at them? And so she was like, what? She was like, you, your boobs are fake. I was like, girl, yes. I was like, I need you to look at them. 
And so she was just was like, so we was like looking to make sure like the clients don't come out the room or whatever. So I hurried up and like just showed her really quick. I was like, do they do they look like uneven or whatever? And she was just like looking. She was just like examining, and um, she was just was like, oh no, like they look fine. Like you're overthinking it. Like they're fine. So I was like, okay. Like I started. So immediately I started like drying my face. I was like, okay, like. It don't look that bad or whatever. So I was all like, thank you, Sasha. Like, thank you. And like I was all hugging her and stuff. And I was like, oh, my boob hurts. And then so I'm gonna be real, like for a good like few days, like they were they were sore. Like it, they were really sore. Like I thought I had did something. I was thinking like, did I get like a blood claw, like a hematoma or whatever that I don't know. Okay, hemoglobin or I, I don't know, y'all. So basically, um, so I waited a few days or whatever. And um, yeah, so I waited a few days. The soreness kind of went down or whatever. Um, and so I also made an appointment to go talk to my surgeon. I was like, I told him what happened. And then he looked and he was all like, yeah, goddess serenity, you're going to be fine. And I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, thank you so much, doc. I was so happy. And, um, you know, so I'm all hugging him. I'm like, thank you. Like, cause I mean, I'm only 27. Like, I think by the time I turn 31, I got to get these redone again. Cause they only last for like 10 years. But I was like, yeah, I was like, these babies, they ain't even, they're probably like, oh, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. They're only six years old, six years old. I still got another four years to go y'all. And yeah, so. I was really happy about that. I was like hugging the doctor. I was like, thank you so much. Like, yes. So, um, so yeah, so moral of the story is, uh, do not lean against anything. I don't care if it's your job or whatever. If when it comes to these girls right here, don't lean up against nothing. Like I'm even scared to sleep on my stomach type thing, but I know like they're fine, but yeah, but yeah, the left side, she's, she's doing okay. Like she's doing, she's doing good. So I'm happy. Like everything is good. I don't have to get, get them redone, but I did have a breast augmentation scare. Like I thought I was going to have to go in and get them like redone again, but yeah. So, uh, definitely don't do what I did. Um, and yeah, but I hope you guys like this little small story time video. Um, but yeah, so I know a lot of you guys have been asking me for more like story time videos and stuff like that. Um, I got like some Twin Peaks story time videos coming and stuff like that. So, um, definitely I'm trying with the story time videos. It's just, you know, not every day things happen to me, but you know, that happened to me and I thought I would share that with y'all. So, um, so I'm going to see you guys in the next video. So don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay magical. Mwah.